What's up guys, it's your boy Fig here, and today's episode is Book of the Month. I know it's been a little bit since uh, I posted, and it's because, well, I've been kind of stuck on quarantine and things like that. Um, been a little bit crazy and hectic and busy, and service is really, well, service is really shitty. But anyways, like I said, book is month, and this month's book is Black Count by Tom Reese. Um, not gonna say anything about it yet because that's coming up. Welcome to the rabbit hole. So I don't have the book with me, so I can't show you, and I can't read the back part of it, so you guys get like a general thing of what the book is about, um, because the book is in storage. So I actually read the book probably about, um, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's been a couple of weeks now. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks now since I actually read the book. So, I don't have it with me because it's in storage because, you know, moving a lot of things and doing a lot of things. So, anyways, but what it's about, it's about the real Count of Monte Cristo slash Musketeer. So, uh, it's about General Alex Dumas. So, the, uh, the writer, Alexander Dumas, wrote about his father and about his father's life and the so Tom Reese um, was trying to research about Alex Dumas because not a whole lot was known about him uh, before and what's fascinating about it is well at least what I thought was fascinating is like dude it's a black dude who's a general in the French army and at that time, I was like, didn't they, like, have slaves and not like black people? That's what I thought. Anyways, and so, but Tom Reese uh, was doing a lot of research and trying to find information. So he goes to the town in France uh, where, I guess, it's a big town for Alex Dumas. And... He finds he, he he finds a place. Um, he got in contact with a lady who had a bunch of stuff, but by the time he got there, apparently she was I don't remember if she had died or if she was just gone. But he had to get special permission then from the government to go in and get all the stuff. But he only had two hours. They only gave him two hours to get the stuff and um or not even get so he couldn't keep any of it he could only take pictures so he spent two hours trying to take pictures of as many of the documents as possible so that way he could create like a full story and a full narrative of alex dumas's life um and so uh i know for me uh I don't know how many of you have always liked Three Musketeers or um, Count of Monte Cristo, but I've always thought they were fascinating stories. And when I had found out that it was a real person who was the inspiration for all these stories and that it was Alex Dumas's father, that made me very interesting or, or interested rather. And so then um, I, I looked into it a little bit, and that's when I found the book, Black Count. And I was like, for years, I was like, dude, I got to read this book. I, I want to read this. Um, and so finally, uh, well, I mean, it's been a long time, but I only had a little bit of money. And uh, you know, that I didn't spend on stupid shit. But so then I got the book, and I was like, okay, now I got to read it. 
and it sat on the shelf. But it didn't sit on the shelf for as long as most of the books that I get do. <laughs> so, anyways, I went and uh, I started reading the book, um, and it was fascinating to me. Like, he did a really good job on taking something that could seem to be like mundane and boring information and put it into something that was actually pretty exciting to read. Um, and I learned some things that, I mean, I didn't know before. Like, for example, I always, I always thought that it was Napoleon that uh, when he went into Egypt that cut like the nose off the sphinx and stuff like that. Um, but it wasn't Napoleon. Um, Napoleon actually liked uh, like Egyptian culture and stuff and he wanted to learn more about it. And he weren't wanted to somehow assimilate French ideas into Egyptian culture, to make, make him like a hybrid kind of thing. So anyways, and that comes up because, well, I guess it's not a spoiler, but uh, Alex Dumas, you know, was a general of the French army at that time that Napoleon ended up coming to power. And so, and there's some interesting things there, too, that I'm not going to divulge because you got to read the book. Um, very fascinating book, though. Um, a very driven man um, from the time he was young. And he just had this personality about him that nothing was going to stop him. And he was very rigid on his beliefs and his, um, his personal principles and values, like, never changed. And it was fascinating to read this and watch and how just, not necessarily fearless he was, but how he didn't let fear control him. And how he pushed past it and inspired other people to push past theirs and accomplish some really fantastic feats. Um, you know, it's funny because today we think of French as, you know, oh yeah, they, they run and hide, they're cowards, you know, as Americans, right? This is kind of the attitude that, that we feel about a lot of the French because historically they have, you know, oh, battle's too hard. Okay, we drop it and run, right? Um... Alex Dumas, I think there were a couple of times they had to retreat, but for the most part, Alex Dumas was amazing. He, he just powered through and despite all odds, would figure something out and win. It, it was really something else. Like with, I think without, without Alex Dumas, um, I don't think the French could have done or gone as far as they did just because of the powerhouse kind of man he was um, really fascinating story though um, interesting how it, it ties in how he is a uh, similar or, or how he inspired rather um, the three musketeers and you could you could totally see it um he was a cavalry guy so you know warrior on the horse and everything and uh, then uh, and then the count of monte cristo um he he was in jail he was in prison um and like the French government, which at that time was controlled by Napoleon, like just kind of seemed like they didn't really give a shit about him, you know. Um, at first, it's fascinating, um, and I've had kind of experiences, well, not like that, not in jail and shit, but I've had experiences with people like, like this, um, where you think you're friends with them, but really they don't like you. Or at least later on, somehow they change. And then they purposefully either try to hurt you. Or um, when you are hurting, they purposefully ignore it. Right? So that's what Napoleon did like to uh, him. 
to Alex, to General Dumas. Um, and apparently Dumas is, was like his mom's name, if I remember correctly. Like I said, it's been a couple of weeks and I have a terrible memory anyways, but I think uh, Dumas was like his mom's name. His, his full title was like uh, some crazy stuff. Like, um, what the heck was the full title? I forgot what even his title was. I don't know. I don't think he was a count. He was something else, but uh, something like Count. I don't know. Schmuckatelli, del, like de Pelletieri, de something else. Like they have some crazy. Like the French had some crazy fucking long ass titles of people. I was like, what the hell, man. But anyways. Um, it's absolutely fascinating. Like, he wasn't even born in France. He was born in, um, uh, like, the Caribbean, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Saint Dominique, I think. Yeah, I, th I think it was Saint Dominique. Um, and so, in France, they just considered him, even though he's you know, French is, I mean, his father's French, so, and he's from a French colony, but anyone from the French colony, and thereby subsequently anyone who was black, they just called American, um, because they were the American colonies, or that was the American colony of the French, right, and so, I thought it was pretty fascinating, um, because it, it went into some race stuff, and I had always thought that, uh, that the USA, that America, well, as a country, was the first ones to actually um, get out of slavery of, of the European countries, right? Um, but they weren't. The French were. But then they, under Napoleon, they ended up kind of rolling back some of the stuff, like the Black Codes. And I didn't know about the Black Codes either. So I thought it was pretty interesting and fascinating stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to, I mean, it's a great book. Uh, if I could remember this much of it, like, and there's more that I remember, but I'm not going to go over it because I don't want to spoil it. You guys pick up the book. It's a fantastic, Tom Reese did a really, really good job. It's a fantastic book. Um, yeah, I mean, great read, great read, highly recommend it. And, um, that's all I got, man. That's all I got. Make sure you leave a comment below. Hit that like button so my, my video gets more views and things. Um, also, don't forget about the Battle Buddies, um, initiative. What I'm trying to do is, um, raise funds to create a program to help, uh, with lower and eliminate veteran suicide. So please help me out there. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, you should, I think I think I'll have the link down there. Um, and then also get your nuggies from the store. Um, you know everything goes towards helping out uh, certain types of charities, which are which should be in the item descriptions, um, like the pink logo. The um, that one is for like breast cancer. Um, and there's some other stuff, the, the baby Yoda ones to help out with, um, or the Grogu, anyone's following Mandalorian. Um, but yeah, so to help out with, uh, veteran homelessness and, uh, homeless children. So that's all I got. Let me know if you guys got anything like comment, subscribe, share, please hit that bell notification. So you get notified every time a new video shows up. And there may be some changes coming around the block. I'm not sure. So stuff is pretty crazy for me right now. I'm going to try to continue doing some stuff here. Um, and we'll see what happens, man. You know, life is life. Shit is fluid. Well, I guess if it's fluid, you probably... You're probably a little slip sick, but you know. Hey, you roll with the punches anyways. Alright? Catch you on the flip side.